Hey guys, today we're going to Fort McAllister. Whoa, where is Fort McAllister, Jack? In Georgia. In Georgia. Let's go check it out. So guys, this is like a replica of with with, with the fort when it came to defending against the Union soldiers. Okay, so his Confederates went up against the Union, which is the North, right? The Union versus the South. Who were what? Confederate. The Confederates, right? Yeah. And they wanted to be their own country. And Abraham Lincoln said what? No. No way. See, that's not in our best interest. We need people to be free. There's no more slavery. And unfortunately, right, war is never, ever a happy, good thing. There are a whole lot of lives lost in that process. This was a really important part of um, the war. The Jack, what do you think that is? Um, maybe a nuke. You know what it was? What? It was not a nuke. Nukes did not exist. This was a torpedo. Is that not crazy? I thought torpedoes didn't exist. Torpedo super did exist. And you know what? The torpedo, this one is 28 and a half inches. And you know how many pounds? Over 400 pounds. I weigh 72. So you're a little off on that. Do you think you could lift it up? Maybe. I'm going to say you have to eat, have a whole lot of protein for that, right? So that's a torpedo. Now, what's this one, Jack? This is called a swamp angel shell that came out of, right? Yep, it was a famous parrot rifle. Look at that. So that's an actual, that, that is huge. And this thing is about 134 pounds. Okay. Holy moly. I, maybe I, I better lift it. Do you think you could lift it? Oh, oh man. I lift it up. Gotta drink more milk. What's, this is crazy, guys. This is such an amazing museum. Wow, wow, was that money that they had back then? Let me see, let's check it out. Does that, that look similar? That's the South money. That was, okay. Confederacy money? Yeah. Wow, and look at that spoon and different things that they use. So, and this is on the water, guys. So it was like ships and submarines and cannons. So, okay, was that, Jackie boy, was that a Confederate or is that Union soldier? Confederate. Confederate, right? And this is, life was not easy for the Confederates or the Union soldiers, because it was hot at times or cold, and a lot of times they didn't have the right supplies or clothing, right? And look, this is the kind of dishware and mugs maybe they drink their coffee out of. Wow, this, and that's a pistol. And look at that sword, guys. But Ulysses S. Grant was a super important leader with the North, yeah. leading them. And later, who did Ulysses S. Grant become? What did he become? The president. Oh. oh. These are the different types of guns that they used during the Civil War. They're actually, they're beautiful. And then this is some of the shells, right, that they use the, for the cannons. Wow. Man, so interesting. Jack loves to learn about history. Oh. oh my gosh. That was a cannon, right? Ball. Wow. Tell me what's imagine going on. Imagine you're in a battlefield right here. The, the, imagine you're, you're on like a battle to the side. You see cannon fire, men attacking for eight days in a row. Right? It was for a bunch of days in a row, right? And look, oh my gosh, Jack, what is that? That's a cannon, right? What's that secret door? There's a secret door. Do you want to see if it opens? Look at this. Holy smokes, Jack. Can you get up there and show me this way over here? Like how, I want you to show how big this cannon is. Okay, so, and that's the water, right? So there's ships out here. There's cannon fire. What else do you think was going on on the coast, bud? Then, what was that? Oh my gosh, right? It was battle. Oh my goodness. And what happened eventually though with the North? They won. They won, right? They, they were over, able to overtake the fortress, right? That helped in with eventually led the North being able to, to take over Savannah, right? In the process of the, the people being free from slavery, turning the tide and us being a separate country. What do you think that was? Oh, to stuff the gunpowder that would light the cannon, that would shoot the cannon. The cannon ball, right? Is that light or is that heavy? That's pretty sweet. Ah. 
What? So, oh my gosh, what was going on down here? This is so dark. Oh my gosh, Jack. I think we should go yeah, we could totally go down there. I'll go with you. What? Oh my goodness. So I'm gonna say, and I should have known this ahead of time. Oh, look at that. Wow. That's so cool. Okay. So that's like they would they would they would keep things heated, right? There would be a fire. There's a fire. <laughs> that's scary. All right, so we no longer need a flashlight. We're going into the light. And look at these trees. Oh my gosh. I love it. And that's what they would like. They would stuff it right with with wood and that thing had to get super hot. It was used to do what, Jack? Walmart. Heat cannonballs red hot to set fire to attacking wooden vessels. So it would make this hot, it would get so hot, it would propel the cannonballs out into the water that would totally rip apart, hopefully they wanted, boats and different things. But in the end, right, the North prevailed another tunnel. It's pretty sweet. Is it deep? You could totally lead. I'm gonna lead. Do it. Ah. Uh. Oh, look, look at this door. That's cool. Oh, it has its lights, bud. Oh, did it? Whoa. That's cool. You got to go in. Oh, I can see a little bit without the flashlight. It is a little dark. So this is where they would sleep. To, I'm sure keep yeah. safe, right? From if anybody was invading, where they had a little bit of time to kind of get ready. Yeah. So we're underground. Yeah. Oh, the flashlight went out. Whoa. Yo, it goes all the way back here, bud. Holy moly guacamole muffins. How would you feel about totally camping out here? Look at all those bunk beds, guys. So do you know why they built this fort right here? So why would you need them to victory against Sherman? Against Sherman? Yeah. And because why, in terms of the placement here, right? What are we just south of? What city? Savannah. Savannah. And, and they wanted to protect Savannah from being taken over, which eventually it was because the North, the Union, were able to claim victory and take this over. But in the meantime, this is a part of history of the United States um, past. So what is that, man? Is that, what is that? Do you know what that is? Yeah. What it was used for the cannons and what was used for gunpowder. Look at all those barrels. That's wild. That. Nothing, well, I would hope not. right on the water, right on the river. So that would be a tactic to try to keep the enemy from coming in, right? And, and, and the enemy for them was who? The North. The North. <laughs> Guess what? Who touches the thing first? No, I, I won. Did you come in first? Yeah. How? I passed it. You did? I, I think. Like then he dropped the flashlight. Look at this. I bet this is an awesome view of the water and the fort. What do you think? Okay, so we checked out Fort McAllister. Is it something you'd recommend? Yep. Was it cool? Yep. What was your favorite part? Uh, exploring. Okay. The cannons. The cannons. I'm the museum. Right, the war was definitely not something that was pretty. Right, lots of sounds, lots of people that got, got hurt or like this died. Sound. Exactly. But what do we, we learn in terms of the, the fight against where the North versus the South, right? That it's about freedom and being grateful for our freedom, being one country, and that everybody's created equal, right? We're going to have a race. So what if they like today's episode? What should they do? Thumbs up and adventure is awesome. We hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode. Jack is peacing out.